Ready? Aim. Fire. I made one in. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. And this is video one where we're gonna put together Crunch Lab's very first box. This is their disc launcher. And don't worry, you're not gonna have to hear from me the whole video. I will have a special guest walking us through the setup and install. You know what? Enough talk, let's get right into this review. Before we get started, I wanna show you the Crunch Lab's build box gear board. With each box you get a gear to put on your gear board. I'm excited to put on my flywheel when we're done. This is our first Crunch Labs build box. Let's open it up and get started. You can see we have all our building gear and directions. Let's get building. Step one, we're gonna put the adhesive foam to the motor, but first let's pop out the holes. With the holes popped out, it easily slides in place. Our next step, you line up the motor into the base. Now use the included screws to tighten down the motor. I needed a little help to put the rubber band on. Let's put the rubber band on the flywheel. Now let's attach the flywheel to the motor. Make sure you push it down to tighten it. Now I'm gonna put the tube on the motor. Step seven, you pull the battery tab. Now let's put the adhesive on the battery pack. Now we put the battery pack in place. Let's just push and hold. Make sure your on off button is centered. Now let's connect the wires. Black wire to black wire, red wire to red wire. Pushing it in is quick and easy. This is also a good time to show you how to replace the batteries. So I just have a standard screwdriver. We unscrew the battery pack, pop it open to reveal that this takes AA batteries. Now install the guard rail. Let's test it out. Let's put our disc in. Cool! Let's place the little yellow wood piece on the disc launcher. Pro tip. I like to hold it for 30 seconds so it sticks. Now let's install our trigger and put the bolt through the hole. Hand tightening the nut, leaving a little space. Put a second nut on to lock the first one in place. Make sure you can still move your trigger. To install the trigger mechanism, fish the rubber band through the hole. Attach it to the two notches. Once you attach the bottom, you attach the top. Now we're gonna test the trigger. Let's put these two rectangular pieces through the holes. This was a hard part. You have to get these little rubber bands and get them on there. This tube goes through these two little wood pieces and see it's not touching. Now take a medium rubber band and wrap it around the tube. Next, we install the tab under the rubber band. Can you believe it? We're done. Let's load this thing. Make sure your discs are all facing up. So, tell me, what are your thoughts of this build box kit, the disc launcher? Something pretty sweet, not so much. Do you have one? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Let's test it out and shoot at some of these targets. Ooh. It was a successful build. Let's put our first gear on. I can't wait till the next one. In this video, we are putting together box one of the Crunch Lab build box kits. So what do we think of it? First things first, let's talk about that price point. I purchased the year long subscription, which is right around $300. So it equates to almost $25 a box. In my opinion, it's pretty cool because it really encourages kids to think outside the box. Plus it gives them the creative skills to build. And you know what? It's actually a pretty sweet project. For the most part, my son was able to put this together all by himself. There were a few parts that needed to help out, of course, providing that supervision, but he had a really good time. These kits really cause kids to have critical thinking skills. Plus there's a little bit of electrical knowledge thrown in there. And in the end, you get a pretty cool toy to play with. If you liked us building kit one, you have to make sure you come back when we build kit two. We are gonna release the video every time they come in through the mail, we're gonna build it and publish our video. Anyway, if this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. 
As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. In the end, the disc launcher was a pretty cool toy, not only to build, but to use. And I will say I'm really grateful that Crunch Lab sells spare parts, because as you can see, we started with six discs. We've ended up losing one, so now we only have five. But conveniently, I can buy more at their website. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for the entire review where we walked you through box one of the Crunch Labs Build Box Kits. You know what, it actually reminded me of another toy that we recently reviewed, and that's the Toy Box. It's a mini 3D printer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review right up here. And I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you right here. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.